guys welcome back to southern extreme tv thanks for hanging out with me today today we are going over one of my favorite pistols that i own i've had this pistol for right about a year um, it is the taurus polymer public defender this gun is chambered in a 410 or a 45 long colt i want to talk to you guys today about one of the reasons why i absolutely love this awesome awesome revolver first of all this gun was based off of the very very popular taurus um, judge line and what they did with this gun is they took that taurus configuration with the 410 and 45 long colt um, chamber and they made it a little more compact a little more lightweight and the idea behind it was to try to make it a little more concealable a little more carry friendly um, and guys they did an awesome awesome job on this gun in my personal opinion it holds five rounds and man you talk about just a smooth crisp awesome shooting double action revolver this is one of the most fun revolvers that i've shot out of the taurus lineup and what i really like about it is they come in several different color options obviously you guys know me i am a big flat dark earth fan so i had to go with the flat dark earth when i picked this gun up um, one of the things that you will notice on this revolver is a lot of the Tauruses, um, especially the Judge line, they have these rear sights that are a little bit elevated. And from a concealed carry standpoint, sometimes that can be a little bit of a hindrance whenever you're trying to carry it. Um, and especially if you're trying to draw, draw your firearm, you want to keep as much stuff limited that can get snagged on a shirt, a belt, pants, on a, uh, a seat belt, whatever the case may be, you just want to have as, as clean, crisp of a top side as you can get. You do have the really big front fiber optic um, orange side up here, which is really nice. The only concern that I've got about it is how flimsy this is and it's you can see here that i'm moving it back and forth that is the only gripe that i have about this gun um, if you was to bump it really hard you might be able to break this fiber optic sight but still like i said i've had this thing for right at a year i've carried it through the woods this is my go-to snake gun whenever i'm going out scouting early season for archery um, whitetail or if i'm going through the woods possibly looking for some turkeys this is an awesome gun to keep on your side. And again, because it shoots that 45 long Colt and that 410, it gives you the option to stagger your rounds inside your chamber so that you can have a 45 long Colt, then a 410, 45 long Colt, then a 410. It really just gives you that perfect lineup for whatever you're gonna come into contact with when you're out there in the woods, whether it be a, uh, an angry black bear and her cub, a cub, which would be awesome for a 45 long Colt to help kind of maybe ward her off or you come across that copperhead or that rattlesnake that gets a little too close to comfort you got that 410 in your pocket um, again going back to what judge did with making this a more lightweight and streamlined gun that's probably my favorite feature about it some of the other tauruses um, in the judge lineup that i've shot they're real heavy they're real long and it feels like i've really got to just get this thing through up and, and really fight to hold it on target but this gun does not feel like that this is a, a really lightweight gun as far as a big um, revolver goes but man what a comfortable gun the only thing that i'm going to knock on it other than the fiber optic is this grip is a little a little short for my liking because this gun is a little bit lighter weight it is going to have a little bit of a bite to it whenever you shoot hopefully you guys can see that in the opening of the video whenever you shoot this gun you've got a little bit of a kick back on it and the fact that i can only get these two fingers really wrapped around and my pinky kind of hangs on this underside of it i really have to grip it hard with this left hand to really make it comfortable for whenever i shoot to be able to come back down on target shooting one hand i'm going to come off target and it's going to be hard to get a good follow-up shot in a timely manner but other than that you have got to absolutely love this judge is a pretty gun it shoots it's comfortable to hold other than that little extra grip on the bottom that you need but from the standpoint of being able to pack this gun in on on your side conceal it if you want to conceal it it not really be in the way um 
that little bit of shortness there helps a lot guys because again this judge was built around the person who wants to conceal carry a judge and yes there are some people out there that want to conceal carry this big old hand cannon um, i love shooting this gun again it serves so many purposes um, and it's just an awesome all-around field gun again right there what you just seen me shooting that was the 410s um, so I'm going to load this thing back up with some other 410s that I got. We're going to shoot it again, let you guys get some close-ups on it, and just watch how fun this thing is to shoot. Alrighty, so one more thing I want to point out. Obviously, when I was opening it up, I shot all five rounds. You can see there that all five of these rounds are spent. In your cylinder, you do have this push bar so that you can get your shells to come out. Now, I know that right there makes it look like it's nice and easy, but when you shoot these 410s, a lot of times it wants to flare out on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but inside that chamber right there, these 410, the plastic holes want to spread out. And sometimes it's really hard to get those shells to come out. So sometimes I have to take a pocket knife um, or something kind of heavy and hit and tap this kind of push rod here. And this helps it pull these shells out and makes it come out a little easier. That's another little gripe that I got. Not a huge deal, but from a reloading standpoint, it's not the best um, just because those 410s, they don't want to come out real easy. And I'll shoot these five here and I'll let you guys take a look and see exactly what I'm talking about. And again, hopefully these right here, hopefully all five of these bad boys will go off. So got those five there. We got a live hot gun. Let's shoot this bad boy five more times. And again, this is a double action revolver. So for those of you guys that do not know what a double action revolver is, you do not have to cock the hammer for this gun to go off. Essentially, you can pull, 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 and that hammer will come all the way back. And then right whenever you get to that break point, the hammer will go forward and the gun will go off. So you don't have to cock the hammer for it to fire. Now, the reason they call it a double action is because you can also cock the hammer as well and you have a lot lighter of a trigger pull that way if you want to really get steady on a target and really take your time and have a good clean crisp trigger pull then you have that option as well um, one of the questions some people may ask is what is the pound trigger what poundage is the trigger on as far as a the double action as far as the initial where the hammer is not cocked that i don't have an answer for you guys you may be able to go to taurus's website um, and get that answer but it is heavy and it's designed to be heavy because that's a safety feature um, for you to be able to pull this trigger and make this go off without cocking the hammer you really have to it, it has to be purpose driven you have to be trying to pull that trigger this is not a trigger where you're going to catch it on your pants leg um, catch it on a seat buckle or something like that and make that trigger go off accidentally you really have to make this trigger squeeze and pull hard um, for that double action to, to play take effect so let's do it a couple different ways and let you guys see the difference in both so this is the first time without cocking the hammer one more time without cocking the hammer and you can see how hard i'm having to fight and there it goes now this is if you want to get a little more steady you don't want that trigger to pull to be quite as aggressive you can cock your hammer and you have a very light trigger pull. One more time. And we got one more left. Let's go really light. Wow. That should be all five rounds. And again, there is all five rounds spent. Now, what I wanna show you guys is how tough it is to try to get these rounds out. And again, you can see, you should be able to just simply push and you can see how I had to fight that, but it jerked them out that time. Those came out a lot easier than those first rounds um, that I shot. But again, you have to fight it a little bit. It's not the easiest thing. And the one thing I'm going to say is I've not shot this with the 45 Long Colt. So there's a chance that because that's got a brass casing, that those rounds are going to come out of this Taurus a lot better. Um, it's not going to be as difficult to get out of there. So let's shoot this bad boy one more time. Let's go right here. I only got four rounds this time, so I can get it lined up. There we go. All righty. Four rounds. Send her down to range. So there's your first two. Let's cock the hammer on these last two. One more. 
Get the smoke coming out of them rounds. They are so old. So again, let's check this, see how hard. There, you just kind of see they finally broke loose. And again, all that is, guys, is that's that plastic flaring on the end of that 410. Just makes it a little difficult to come out. But again, if you're in a tight situation, all you've got is 410 rounds loaded up. You've got that double action so that you can really pull or you can cock the hammer and you've got that really crisp, clean trigger. Let me get a close up right here for you guys so you can see that again. No rounds in it, it's empty. We're just doing dry fire here. So again, give an idea. This is without cocking the hammer. You can see that hammer going back and then going forward. And then when you cock it, you see that trigger coming back. You barely have to pull that trigger for that thing to go off. So again, versus this. So again, as I said, this is a really, you have to intentionally be pulling this trigger to make that bad boy go off. You're not gonna accidentally do that. That was one of the things that I was a little nervous about with this being a concealed carry friendly judge was how strong that double action trigger was gonna be because again, if I'm swinging up in a in a tree trying to hang a lock on stand or whatever the case may be i don't want that trigger to catch on something for some crazy reason and shoot a hole through my leg and then there i am by myself out in the woods uh, but again if i was to walk up on a copperhead or something like that and i wanted to pull it out make a quick shot get that snake dead you can do that you don't have to worry about cocking it or if you get into a self-defense situation where you really don't have time to concentrate on cocking that hammer back, you can pull straight out and get on target, put a couple of rounds down. Even though this gun does kick a little bit, with two hands on it, you really have the opportunity to get back on target with a couple good follow-up shots. And the good thing is you're shooting that 410 round, so you're, you got a little bit of a pattern, which is a good, a good thing to have. So guys, that right there is the Taurus Public Defender polymer version of their judge lineup absolutely love this gun they're made in miami florida if you've never owned a judge um, and you're looking to try to get a judge and maybe you don't want to go to one of the real 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 big boys like they make check out this polymer version it's really lightweight it is perfect for multiple multiple uses and guys what just a pretty pretty gun you gotta love this thing man if you don't think that gun is pretty then i don't know what the heck you think a pretty gun is but it's I mean you don't have the same taste but guys thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching my channel at southern extreme tv if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button in the top left corner i try to bring you guys videos as often as i can i apologize i haven't brought as many videos to you here lately as i typically do things have been crazy around the house and uh, with work so i'm gonna get back on it try to bring you guys some more videos in the future but again thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me on my channel stay tuned i've got a lot of stuff coming up in the future and i'll see you guys next time